Hi, I'm Steve. I'm here to show you how to create a 2D uh, vector art to 3D image so you can use it in uh, like Adobe After Effects. Uh, I'm trying to do it the quickest way as possible instead of going out and uh, creating, making your own vector, which you can uh, in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, but I, to save some time, I'm just going to goodlogo.com. Uh, just download the uh, EPS vector model and uh, bring it into Adobe Premiere. And then once you get it all sized up and looking good, uh, usually I ungroup it in Adobe uh, Illustrator. And we're going to save. And uh, yeah, 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 save. Oops, it saved as the EPS file. Okay, save it as Adobe Illustrator. And these are all, I'm going to alphabetical order. I'm on Dallas Cowboys now. And we're going to save the AI. I usually save it in the it's a 17 model, but I make two of them. So what I'm going to do is make a, a second one, and then call this one a 3D. So this way, if I have to go back and change it, I don't go back and change the older version. And we're going to save it Adobe Illustrator 8. I think 3 works as well, but I go to the newest one. It's 8. So we're going 8. Yeah. There. And one thing I also do is uh, export it. So I can get the colors and write for the, the mapping. And just save it as a PNG file, which is right there. And here, so save the export PNG. Yep, looks good. And then we're going to open up 3D Studio Max. And we're going to import that 3D model here. Let's see. see. Adobe NFL man, I got so much work in here. I also got like five kids, so if you hear a bunch of kids in the background, hey man, it's not my fault. Oh, so I opened up the 3D model and uh, Illustrator 8 3D AI file, and we're gonna merge its current scene, and we're gonna use uh, multiple objects because there's different layers in that. All right, first thing we see here, uh, we want to go to the front, and we want to select all the layers here all the shapes rather and we select that and we're gonna move this up to the front we want we want the front model right like that uh, that way it shows up better and it's not on the side when you import it and what we're gonna do is scale it a little bit and right now it's like super small uh, and then of course here, here. Uh, best always to lock it, but I'm trying to hurry this up in 15 minutes. I do uh, my videos in uh, 720p, so uh, what I want to do is you can, I mean, you can make it however big you'd like, uh, but you know, you don't want to go too much. Alright, so that's all sized up. Uh, next, uh, we want to uh, give it a little face. Uh, so we want to, uh, I usually go one at a time. I make them about uh, 20 pixels deep or so. Uh, so first thing we want to bevel this in the modifier list. So you go bevel. And we, about uh, we want to make it 3D. So we start at 19. See there's three layers. We got 19 here. Uh, then we go to the second one. Some some models are gonna have uh, more than three shapes. Obviously, this is an easy one. Um, it's the easy logo to do. Uh, so that makes my video a little bit easier. Um, let's see, we got 19.5. A lot of times I color them too, so that's why I bring up the the uh, PNG file. I just use a regular paint, so it's, it's dark blue. Alright, so we got dark blue is on the outside. So, you know, if you want to color it, that, this will help with mapping. It won't do anything as far as uh, important at all. So, the second one is white. And uh, we already beveled that. So and then we're going to the third shape. <clears throat> like I said, the more complex the model, the harder it is. You got to tweak it sometimes. 
uh, like edit the mesh and whatnot. Uh, two. And like I said, I, I wanted to make them 20. And that's dark blue too. Alright, so like I said, this one's pretty much wrapped up. Uh, you could also uh, bevel the edges if you want to. Uh, first thing I want to do is square this up a little bit. Uh, so the back side of these, uh, I rotate mine so I can't really have the back flat like that. So we're going to go in here. Uh, we'll go zoom in here. Select the right window. And we're going to move it. So we're going to so there's only three. Yep, we got that one. So we're gonna move this up right here. The blue indicates the the bottom, the one I marked at 19. And then we're gonna select the next one and move that up there in between the two blue there. All right. So that so the both faces are out. I get the best possible here. That looks good. Alright, so there we go. A nice 3D texture on both sides. Uh, one thing we can do, I think it's a little bit of time here. When we use the bevel here on 19, what is that? 6.33. Uh, we can use uh, three sides. Let's see if it comes out. 6.333. 6.333. And we got 6.333 here. And if you notice up here, uh, it's, you know, it's just square. So we can put it like a. Oops, that's the wrong one. This one will be negative, so we want negative five right there. So yeah, it puts a little edge on it, makes it look more a little more three D. Same with the front edge. And level two will be square. So see how it uh, puts. You, like I said, you can adjust a little bit more. Uh, maybe a seven. And there we go. Two, yeah. yeah, we'll put it at two. Two looks good. Don't, don't look so rounded. So it gives it a little 3D. And if you look up here, see how it's a little more, you know, 3D ish, you might say. A little bevel edges on it. Alright, so uh, down this model here. Of course, you know, you always want to save it. So we're going to save. And in my NFL folder, Dallas Cowboys. I always save the max file, uh, just in case you have to ever come back to it. And uh, now we got we got to map this, so we got to put in the colors right here. And okay, I'm gonna select them all. And back in the paint file, uh, usually I I do a map. Uh, like I said, you can use Photoshop, whatever. I don't you just need some simple um, mapping? And we got two colors, so we're just gonna use just blue and white. Uh, I got this actually paint program on my website. If you need a paint program, simple and uh, you could even use uh, Microsoft Paint if you wanted to. Uh, even though it's crack crappy, just make a quick. Uh, see, I got these at uh, ten. 24 by 1024. Alright, and once you get the uh, UV map, uh, you save it. And then uh, uh, you go back to your model. Uh, you hit M. And what we do is we're just going to drag this, uh, this uh, uh, JPEG file into here. And we're going to apply it down here by dragging so. Selection. And uh, since this is an easy one, uh, what we want to do is um, go up to the, up on the modifiers list. Let's see here. We're up to, we're to choose 
UV uh, unwrap UVW and uh, select the face and edit that uh, under mapping we want the, the pat, flat mapping and just hit the default values and what we want to see what we want to do here all right this will give you all the um, faces of the uh, model and since this is an easy one this is only uh, we know shape one and shape three are blue uh, so what we want to do is just go in there and edit that and make sure that's all set there see these ones are in the white so we will move these up in here yeah I mean you could make it so they're not touching if you want to I'm trying to be quicker here and then uh, we want to go to shape two we know that's white edit the face and we've got to throw these in the white area yeah. and it should be done all right so that looks good all right so it's all mapped and ready to go uh, make sure you save your work and then we want to export it oh, oh. you want to select them all and then export. So I hit export. And uh, this is the OBJ file. Yeah. Uh, and make sure all these are set. I mean, uh, so make sure we're exporting the map with it. And like I said, this is an easy one. Only three shapes. And once that done, uh, uh, once that's all exported and ready to go, we can then uh, open up our After Effects. Now, usually on um, the Premiere, I do uh, editing for myself. After Effects, I do all the cool 3D stuff. Uh, like I said, you're going to need Video Pilot uh, with um, uh, the plugin for the After Effects. And I'll show you how that works in here. I just do a new composition. Okay, and we want a new layer, it's solid, it's okay, and we'll bring in the effect, video copilot element, that's like I said, the plug-in for, uh, you'll need, uh, this will import the OBJ file we just made, uh, Dallas Cowboys, open, and there's the model, uh, like I said, it's not uh, mapped yet, but I put the effects on first. Make the you know, environment chrome. It depends. You can make it whatever effect you want. And we click on this. Load up the uh, uh, UV map, which is Dallas Cowboys. I'm not a big Dallas fan, but uh, the nice easy model to do. Right, and then it automatically applies where they go. Uh, makes it nice and shiny. And we just bring it into our video. And voila. Uh, from here, you know, you can just, like I said, it's the first group here. And we can, you know, rotate it however we want. Uh, in the video, uh, make it rotating, uh, you know, in the video. I uh, but this is all part of uh, Adobe Premiere. It's not really uh, a uh, Adobe Premiere um, tutorial. But I uh, just wanted to show you how to import uh, 3D models into it. So it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, if you like the video, uh, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Uh, if uh, people like the tutorial, maybe I'll do some more. And we'll just go from there. All right, well, thanks for watching, and you guys have yourself a great day. Like I said, I'm Steve. Um, I'm more of a Lions fan. I'm into the NFL. I do predictions uh, each week. Uh, football season is quite a ways off, so I do other videos instead. So uh, have yourself a great day, uh, and you have, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Peace. I'm out.